Here I'm asked to simplify these expressions. Before I do that, I want to rewrite the coefficient here, 32, as 2 to the fifth. Okay, x to the twentieth, y to the tenth, z to the fifth, plus x squared y. Now let's think of that negative there as a negative 1. Negative 1 can be thought of as negative 1 to the fifth, right? Negative 1 times itself five times is certainly negative 1. x to the tenth, y to the fifth, z to the fifth. Okay, once we take care of our coefficients like that, it should be a little bit easier to simplify. Remember, that's a fifth root. Okay, so the fifth root of 2 to the fifth is 2. The fifth root of x to the 20th is x to the fourth. Notice 5 goes into that exponent four times evenly. 5, you know, the index here, 5 goes into 10, so that simplifies as y squared. And then finally, z to the fifth, 5 goes into 5 one time perfectly, so z. The fifth root of z to the fifth is z plus. Okay, let's look at this second radical to simplify. Um, the fifth root of negative 1 to the fifth is negative 1. This is multiplication. 5 goes into that exponent 10 perfectly twice. The fifth root of y to the fifth is just 1y. The fifth root of z to the fifth is z. Okay, so once we have the roots taken care of, let's go ahead and simplify. Nothing to simplify here, so let me just rewrite that as 2x to the fourth y squared z minus, see this is all multiplication, so I have a 1 times a negative 1, so I'm just going to put there minus x to the fourth, that's x times x, when you multiply like that you add exponents, okay, and then y times y is y squared, and then z. Now look at this, magically, these two terms now become like terms. See how the variable part right here? They're both exactly the same. So you got x to the fourth, y squared, z, and here the coefficient is 1. Okay, so those are like terms. 2 minus 1 is 1x to the fourth y squared z.